Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Yippee! There is a new version of OpenTX. Now, I've um, when I started my YouTube channel and started doing tutorial videos, most of it is about OpenTX. So I'm quite pleased to hear there is a new release that it hasn't just died and they are still working on it. Now we're going to switch over to the computer and have a look and see what you know, the changes were. I've, I've read through them there's not a huge amount of different changes like obviously we would have liked to have the uh, touch screen available for the TX16S and the Jumper T16 but that doesn't seem to have happened yet. But let's take a look at the computer and we'll, we'll see what uh, the updates are. Okay, the, one of the biggest ones I would say is for the Radio Master Zuro here. You can see it's supporting LRS and the multi version. So you could, I, I'm sure the Zuro is being supplied with um, with um, Edge TX, but um, obviously you could go and um, upload this firmware if you wanted to. There's other, the, the Jumper T Pro, there's been adjustments on all the radios. We've got uh, some L uh, Express LRS and Crossfire and Ghost modules have now additional info like mix rate. So they've, they've added, there has been some work done. The one I would have looked like to have was the um, touchscreen version. And you can see there's some work being done on the companion. So there we go. So yeah, right, it's not dead. OpenTX is not dead. There we go. There is a new version. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.